It seems such a simple equation, good customer service equals good business. And yet this patently isn't so as many of us ex have experienced. Today we're going to look at what it takes to be a customer focused organisation. Now today in the studio is Graham Clark. Now Graham, you've got years of experience of looking at successful customer focused organisations and plenty of ones that aren't. Why is it that so many people seem to get it wrong? Well, I'm not sure they get it wrong. I think it's more that they lose focus, actually, just to pick up the focus word. Um, and I think one of the biggest issues is that we tend to focus on outputs rather than outcomes. In other words, what we do is we focus on what we do rather than what it means for our customers. And so even though we mean well, somehow it doesn't quite come out right. I think that that's one of the issues. The other one, of course, is the whole focus around efficiency today. I mean, we know we'll drive for cuts and, and so on. And I think in the process of, of efficiency, sometimes we lose what is the essence of what the customer really, really wants rather than what we do for them. So how do we then make it so we keep what the customer really, really wants? Well, I think a lot of this is actually just hard work. Um, we live today in a, in a world that's always looking for the quick fix, looking for the simple um, panacea that makes it all right. And what we need to do is to go back to basics and really think about defining very clearly what customers really are looking for. What are they buying from us? Sometimes we talk about uh, the inside-out lens versus the outside-in lens. We're very good at the inside-out. This is what we do, love us. <laughs> Rather than, this is what you want from us in terms of outcomes, benefits, and of course the total experience. In the process of efficiency cuts, what we tend to lose is the experience bit. What, what's really important for me, the customer, in this? Now, it's not everybody that is losing it. What actually is it that makes the difference if, if I work for some of the, the ones that everybody says they're great at customer service, at serving the customer? Yeah, um, I think I like Southwest Airlines as an example. It's a very, very good book actually which, called The Southwest Airlines Way by uh, Jody Gattel. And in that book, they outline 10 relationships. It's all about relationships. Service is relationship. And it's about removing the barriers to forming really, really strong and enduring relationships. And they work hard all the way through uh, the network of relationships, not just that end bit, you know, that point of contact with customers, which we still focus on, those moments of truth. Um, but it's the, the bit all down the chain and making sure the relationships are working and working well. So if you were giving people in an organisation some advice, how do I come become more customer focused? What would the answer be? Um, I think my top tip, <laughs> if you like, would be don't rely on one or two heroes to provide great service. Now we need the heroes, those people who love the customer to bits, who really go the extra mile and all those great words, the employee of the month. But actually, great service is service which is delivered consistently through the network of relationships which starts right at the very beginning and all the way to the end. And so what, what I recommend is that organisations map at every point what's happening with the relationships. We talked a lot about internal customers in the past, but I think we should talk about internal relationships. Uh, what do I give? What do I get back? How can we make it better? It's good to talk and it's good to work out what's working and what's not working. Graham, thank you very much.